Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical, and I wanna talk about one of the most overlooked things in firearms training, and that's dry fire training. So first and foremost, guys, if we're, whether we're going to the range or we're doing our dry fire training, we've gotta have some type of plan. So for me, I have a notebook that I actually annotate, hey, what am I looking to do? So again, by having this, I can write down all my notes in here and know exactly what type of plan I'm gonna do, where am I short, where am I gaining at, and then how to make those improvements. Because the more time I spend here, dry fire, I'm gonna have better improvements when it's now time to go out to the range and actually shoot live. The other thing I like to do is again, I wanna use my phone. Again, simple tripod, because what I'm trying to do is not only work on my time, my speed, my accuracy, but I also wanna see what I'm doing. Am I adding any movements in there? Do I have an added knee bend, roll, crazy things that you see shooters do? This allows me to kind of capture that information. So I can just sit here in the house. I've got my plan. I've kind of annotate, annotated everything out. Now I'm just gonna set up my phone with my tripod. And again, you wanna be smart where you're positioning things at. So in this case, we're just gonna work on our draw today. I've got my pro timer set up. I just put it on a simple part time of two seconds. I've got my camera running. I know that's what I've annotated in my drill book. So I wanna work on that particular drill of drawing this Walther pistol out of the holster and just kind of work on that. So I've got my part timer set for two seconds. That's kind of my start point that I'm looking at. Understand this guys, I've already cleared the pistol out. I'll check it one more time before I start. I've got my kind of downrange area. I've got my small aiming point down there. And this is all I'm focused on. I've got everything out of the way. My ammo's in a separate room. Kids are away, I've got no distractions. And really it's all focusing on, I just want to practice on this one skill. So we're gonna sit here. I'll double check one more time. Yep, my firearm is clear. I'm gonna holster it. I've got my pro timer set and I've got the part time. So it's gonna give me that first note to give me the audible to start my draw sequence. And then it's gonna give me a second that hopefully I've gotten that shot off beforehand. And now it comes on to me being the honest broker to make sure my sights are aligned and a good easy press on that trigger. So stand by. So again, a little slow on that one. So we'll fix that for the next go around. So again, this is what I'm trying to do is just annotate. I wasn't quite in that window. I could go ahead and review my footage, go, hey, what was going on? I didn't get my finger on the trigger like I wanted. My sights weren't quite there and we took a little bit longer for that. So we'll try it one more time, stand by. So that was good on that one. I was on the target I wanted to, nice press of the trigger. We'll go one more time, stand by. So what I can do at this point is now I can take my timer. I know I'm hitting that point where I want to and I can start whittling down the time to kind of find, hey, where's that point? Once I've got that point, I can annotate it in my notebook. I can either pick up for another dry fire session depending on how much time I'm spending or if it's kind of at the completion of my dry fire cycle, now I can take that and actually go out to the range and go, hey, am I actually getting my hits on target at kind of that frame I want to do? What I would recommend is guys, if you can spend just five minutes a day, three days a week, you're gonna see your shooting performance greatly enhance. You can do draw from the holster, magazine change, everything you'd normally do, you can do movement. Anything you would normally do in a self-defense scenario, you can do the same thing. To me, it's finding that good safe spot in your house, making sure you separate your ammo from your firearm, no distractions, have a plan. That's the biggest thing. Add your dry fire routine in there to me, I would want to dry fire at least two to three times more than I would going to my range sessions. Again, five minutes a day, three days a week. Maybe you go out for a quick session on the weekend. That would be a good routine to start and start practicing that in your daily firearms training.